Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know that it has been a while. Um, but before we get started with the rest of the video, first I wanted to address something uh, which is safety. I know some of you might be wondering if it really is safe to be climbing indoors again, especially since at least here in the United States, the coronavirus is still a very big thing. Uh, cases are actually on the rise in some states, including my state, California. But I feel safe about climbing indoors um, and the reasons why I feel safe are because my gym that I'm going to right now is doing a reservation system. So at any point in time, a certain number of people are allowed in the gym, like a maximum amount of people. I don't know what that number is, but I always climb during the first two hours of that reservation system, which is 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Since I'm climbing at the earliest time of the day, there are maybe five to eight other people max at the gym with me, and that's toward the end of my climbing session. Besides that, I pretty much have the gym to myself, which makes it really easy to social distance. Everyone is required to wear masks, and there is a gigantic fan in the ceiling above the bouldering area so there is really good ventilation and yeah there's just barely anyone in the gym anyway another thing is that i have been using liquid chalk and for those of you who don't know how liquid chalk works it is sometimes alcohol based mine is alcohol based and so when you put it on your hands the alcohol evaporates when it's exposed to air and then all you have left on your hands is the chalk but the chalk is not like powdery or the particles don't go up into the air. Mine is also 70% alcohol based. So when I put it on my hands, it smells like, like hand sanitizer. It smells like hand sanitizer um, because it is alcohol. I don't consider it to be like, I don't treat it like hand sanitizer but I think the most important part is that it's not like powdery and it doesn't, you know, fly up in my face and everything. I've also been wearing a headband so that my bangs are not on my face and I'm not inclined to touch my face at all. If I wanted to go into the regular gym, gloves are required by everyone and there are just spray bottles of alcohol everywhere as well. And obviously the important thing is washing my hands afterwards um, the liquid chalk usually doesn't come off in one go so i will wash my hands twice for more than 20 seconds all of these things combined i feel safe climbing indoors i know that there is always a small amount of, amount of risk that is taken every time you know you do anything outside of your home but climbing is extremely important to me and I think that it's okay to take a very small amount of risk as long as I am minimizing it as much as I can which I am so with that being said let's go climbing let's go actually I still have I still have to wait until the gym opens. 